Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is archiving, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is part of the Secure and Preserve Knowledge Domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll explore the basic concepts of archiving and storage including information archive, storage concepts, RAID storage, and multi-tier storage strategies. Archiving is the practice of long-term preservation of records with enduring historical value, and the archive itself is either a collection of historical records or the physical space they're located. According to Wikipedia, archivists prefer the term archives, with an S, as the correct terminology to serve as both the singular and the plural since archive, as a noun or a verb, has acquired meanings related to computer science. An information archive, on the other hand, is defined in a computing environment by PCMag.com as a file that contains one or more compressed files. Although archived files may remain on the same computer as the originals, the word archive implies data retention policies are at work, and archive data typically is stored somewhere else for backup and historical purposes. In fact, today almost all archiving is done to removable media because this also allows the data to be sent to off-site storage far away from the original location, safeguarding it should there be an issue at the physical location. Deciding what should be archived and what can be discarded should be based on operational need and the retention period assigned to the content in question, and those decisions should drive which formats are used for the purpose. Most archive formats are capable of storing folder structures in order to reconstruct the file-folder relationship when decompressed. Open standards governing file format and media types, like PDFA, are better for long-term access than proprietary ones since they're more likely to receive support by many organizations over time, rather than just the one that owns the technology. Storage differs from archives in the same way a dresser drawer differs from a safety deposit box put away yet readily retrievable versus socked away for protection. Technologically, computer storage is the place where data is held in an electromagnetic or optical form by access by a computer processor. It comes in three basic forms. Online, including hard drives and mounted removable media. Nearline, including unmounted removable media. And offline, including media stored somewhere else like the data center or off-site. RAID is a storage technology that provides increased reliability and functions through redundancy. It's short for Redundant Array of Independent Disks, and it achieves its objectives by combining multiple disk drive components into a logical unit, in which data is distributed across the drives in one of several ways called RAID levels. The different schemes or architectures are named by the word RAID, followed by a number, for example RAID 0, RAID 1, and each one provides a different balance between two key goals, increased data reliability and increased input-output performance. RAID is now used as an umbrella term for computer data storage schemes that can divide and replicate data among multiple physical drives. The physical drives are said to be in a RAID, which is accessed by the operating system as one single drive, a concept that's an example of storage virtualization. Multi-tier storage strategies involve the use of virtual or physical storage devices with different input-output performance specs, data availability, and relative cost characteristics to provide differentiated online storage for computer systems. It is common data management practice to create multiple file systems on storage devices of different types and move files between them to meet business needs. For example, an active database application might keep current transactions in a file system on top-tier storage and move 30-day-old transactions to another file system on a second-tier device. As production storage devices grow dangerously close to full, 
large inactive files might be relocated to larger, slower, and less expensive devices. A hierarchical storage management system, HSM, involves using software that scans a file system periodically and migrates files that meet certain criteria, usually based on data activity and inactivity, to alternate storage devices, such as RAID systems and tape. HSM leaves stubs in the file system to indicate the locations of migrated files so that they can be restored to file system storage automatically when applications or users access them. This module has explored the basic concepts of archiving and storage, including information archive, storage concepts, RAID storage, and multi-tier storage strategies. Next, you may wish to review the module on alternative approaches to archiving. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org slash certification. Thank you.